What is good out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here, and here we are with a back-to-back -back video. If you haven't seen the last video that I posted, probably by the time this comes out, it might be like an hour or two. But if you haven't seen that last video, uh, go ahead and watch it because it is a preparation to this solo money glitch. Uh, it's very, very simple, but you do need BMX bikes. So if you have at least one BMX bike, um, then still go to the last video because I'll show you how to duplicate them so you have more. But you need one BMX bike per dupe. If you don't have any BMX bikes, go to that last video. I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a solo method on how to get BMX bikes in car slots, all right? And that's what you need. And that's 100% solo uh, on PlayStation, on Xbox. It, you need a friend in a different targeting mode, so it's semi-solo. But, you know, you're using your friend off a of friends list. You're not even communicating with them. So... That's how that works. Now, the founder of this solo money glitch, it's actually been reworked. Sorry about that. It's actually been reworked. Uh, this is found by NHJ, Mod Beep, and Clones. Okay, so big shout out to all those guys. Their names are down in the description. Uh, what you're going to need for this is go ahead and throw yourself in an invite only. Like I said, a BMX bike in a car slot, and you actually want it in your facility. So if you want three dupes, you need three BMX bikes in your facility. That's how that works. Make sure you watch that last video of mine to go ahead and find out how to do that. All right. So obviously you need a facility and you actually need the accommodation. So which is basically the bedroom. So make sure you have the bedroom uh, in your facility. You need a bunker with the MOC and the personal vehicle storage. And you need a retro custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping. You need that saved inside of the MOC. OK. And the best part about this glitch, no custom plates needed. OK. We've had a lot of merge glitches lately, and this is definitely one of them that has lived on. If you guys haven't gotten, you know, haven't done the BMX dupe, then you are late to the party because these BMX dupes have been going on for a while. I can't believe they're still working. Seems like this was unpatched. This was patched before the DLC and now it's working again. So definitely time to take advantage of this. This is 100% solo and very quick and easy to do. Okay. A CEO buzzard will help as well. But anyways, pull out the retro that you're going to be duping out of your, you know, MOC and just park it in the bunker slot right there that, you know, you saw my retro at. So just leave it there and you want to exit outside on foot. So once you exit outside on foot, do not call out any personal vehicles, okay? Sign in as a CEO and call out your buzzard. If you don't have a buzzard, uh, CEO vehicles, there are some free ones right there. You can, you know, you can even order those up and use those or grab a street car. It's all up to you. But at this point, you want to make your way over to the facility. Now, I'm using the farmhouse bunker, which is the one you see, you know, the place you see me at right now. And right across this highway is actually the windmill uh, farm facility, okay? So this facility and this bunker are pretty much the best for this glitch. They are right in front of each other. There's a couple more around the map that are similar, but this is a very good setup and most people have these two locations. So I definitely recommend picking these up. But if you haven't already, you know, <laughs> but anyways, so you saw me just fly over to my facility with my buzzard. All I have to do is go inside now, and like always, you guys know me, I will forward through the facility animation. We've seen it way too many times that Doomsday DLC seems like it came out forever ago. But uh, yeah, so once we get inside of the facility where you should have your BMX bikes already placed, like I said, if you, if you don't have BMX bikes in here, you need to go back and watch that last video. So make sure you got some BMX bikes in here in the car slots. Go ahead and press wire triangle to hop on one of them and tap X or A to move around in the facility. Make sure you don't hit the gas or reverse. And by that, I mean, don't hit the right or left triggers on any console, because if you do, you will spawn outside and then you have to go and reset up your retro back at the bunker. So make sure you don't do that. Only use A and X to go around the facility. Go to your accommodation, you know, your bedroom and go next to the bed and you want to get the right D-pad option. Don't do what I just did right here. Don't be a fool <laughs> and try to ride up the wall like that. Just go ahead and get that right D-pad option. Luckily, I was still able to get the right D-pad option facing away from the bed. So you want to press right D-pad and right trigger at the same time, or that would be R2 on PlayStation. But just hit right D-pad and gas at the same time and then just let go quick. You should spawn outside like this. If you hold on to them too long, sometimes you get a weird animation where you're like back in the facility and then outside. I don't know. It's, it's really weird. But uh, yeah, once you've done that, then you can get back into your buzzard and you can fly back over to your bunker. Like I said, still no personal vehicles out on the map right now. If you don't have the CEO buzzard, then just sign in the CEO and you can actually call up one of those free CEO vehicles. OK, and you can use that to get over to uh, your bunker and back over to your facility, depending on what step you're at. 
So right now I'm going to hopefully land this buzzard here sometime soon. There we go. Uh, land the buzzard and then just run back into your bunker. And if you didn't order any bikes or any cars or anything like that this whole time, then your LG Retro Custom or Benny's vehicle that you left in here should still be in this slot. Okay, it should still be in this temporary parking spot in the bunker. And once we finally load in here, we will get a good look at it. There it is. Okay, so this has a custom plate on it already. It actually has a fart crew plate. And I'm going to show you that we will get a completely different plate, okay? And a completely different, really. You'll see. So, far crew right here, and I'm going to go ahead and get in. And this is when the plate changes, once you hop in. So, we're going to hop in, and then boom, look at that. Blank plate. Now, that will turn into a regular plate once you leave the session, but some other stuff happens. But I'll, I'll go into that here in a second. Now, drive straight to your MOC, hit right D-pad, and you saw how I got the full alert? That proves that this is a dupe, okay? If it wasn't a dupe, then it would just drive right in. It would do, It was the original car. So that proves to us that this was a dupe. Now, if you want to rinse and repeat, very, very simple. You just drive this car right out of the, you know, right out of the MOC again. You put it back in that spot, and then you can go ahead and go back to the facility and rinse and repeat, okay? So I actually wanted to test some stuff. I ended up putting a fart crew plate on this vehicle right here okay i put a far crew plate on this retro just so that we can actually see the plate change later and i wanted to see if the upgrades would stick when i left session so uh like i said rinsing rinsing and repeating is very simple just grab that same retro you just duped and put it back in that spot go outside on foot grab your buzzard and head back over to your facility fast forwarding through this you guys have already seen most of this stuff and now that i'm back at the facility same thing we're gonna go ahead and grab a bmx bike now while i'm doing this I'm going to kind of explain the a little bit of the downside about this glitch, and it still isn't even that bad. It still makes it, you know, this is still a, per, a great glitch. You're still going to make a lot of money. But these retros, these dupes, tend to lose their upgrades once you leave the session, okay? What does that mean? That means that they lose a lot of their value. So instead of selling for a million bucks, they're going to sell for probably half a million. So it's still over 500k. Think about it, 500K every like five minutes, which is what it takes to make a dupe in this glitch, is still worth it. Go ahead and grind out missions and see how long it takes you to make 500K before you complain about this. All right, seriously. <laughs> so once we've gone over here, same as before, head over to the bed. Remember, do not press the triggers. Hit right D-pad and right trigger at that point at the same time, okay? So that'd be RT and R2 and you want to press right d-pad at the same exact time and let go quickly and you will have the same result that i just had right now once you're back outside get back into your buzzard or ceo vehicle and head over to the bunker okay head over to the bunker and like i said if you haven't called out any personal vehicles then that retro will still be there okay i did put a far crew plate on it so we are going to see the plate change once again now depending on how you mess with your bmx's if you're duping your bmx's or ordering brand new ones that will dictate whether you're going to get fresh plates or not okay and in my last video i showed how to just order more and more usually that will not give you a fresh plate but it's the fastest way to do it okay duping each bmx and then duping a car is too much so as you can see right here from the real easy plate boom we went back to another blank plate that's okay these cars will lose their upgrades but it's still like i said that was a million dollars right there in what seven eight minutes so still very very quick now i just drove outside do not do this okay i was testing some some stuff i kept this in the video just to show you what happens but if you drive outside you're not going to save this car you just lost this dupe okay and check it out you see the vehicle cannot be modified so i wasn't able to drive it into los santos customs and get this i'm going to drive back over to the bunker and i'm sure you guessed it you won't be able to take this back into the bunker either see vehicle cannot be entered through the bunker so you know what i thought i was smart and i was like let me just call out the moc and let me you know bring it out here and i'll be able to drive it in there no problem i'll save you some time it actually will not save whatsoever so make sure once that plate changes inside the bunker you immediately take it straight into your moc you drive it in there okay and that will save the vehicle you just need to drive it in once and that'll save the vehicle because if you do not do that if you try to go outside and try to fool around this will happen to you. You won't be able to save the vehicle, drive it anywhere. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe if I sign in as an MC president, I can just return it to storage. Nope. Check out what happens right when you get out. Boom. <laughs> it just disappeared on me completely. So make sure you save that vehicle while you're inside the bunker. Okay. Don't try to change anything. Um, I did test it and my dupe in this video did lose its upgrades when I left the session, but still worth over 500 and like $40,000. 
Okay, like I said, don't complain if you're making a half a million dollars every five minutes. That is way more than pretty much 95% of the population in GTA Online makes, okay? And way faster. So, <laughs> sorry about that little rant, but this is a great solo money glitch. Take advantage of it. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.